Hey guys, my name is Dan, I'm a veterinarian, and welcome to the channel. I'm gonna go over what ticks actually give dogs Lyme disease, and where in the country, in the United States, do these ticks actually live? I really enjoy the CDC's uh, manual on tick-borne diseases. I know it's a great read. As we fan through this manual, guys, you're gonna see a handful of different ticks and tick-borne diseases, but we're gonna focus on the tick that causes Lyme disease, which is gonna be the black-legged tick also known as Ixoid scapularis or Ixoid pacificus. Those are the scientific names for it. Now, there are two different species of this tick, but they both are called the black-legged tick. Here's an example of one right here. You can see that the legs are black. We have a black little area on the back there, and what is that, guys? Kind of a amber reddish look to it. Now, this is gonna be the female tick, and the female tick is the most likely tick to get on your doggy or yourself. As I said, guys, there's two different species. There's the, all, the, both the black-legged tick, but there is the Ixoid scapularis, which carries Lyme disease, which is Borrelia burgdorferi, right? Um, and it, that's widely distributed in the eastern United States. And as, as someone that lives in Nebraska, I see that as well here in Nebraska, too. Now, you probably wonder, what is the other species? And I said it earlier. And that one, guys, is called the western black-legged tick and it's found the Pacific Coast, and it's called Ixoid Pacificus, which makes sense because it's across the Pacific Ocean right there. And that one also causes Borrelia burgdorferi or Lyme disease as well. Now remember, these ticks carry the disease. They aren't the disease, right? Right. The CDC also has this right here where to check your pet for ticks. Basically everywhere, right? Just check them everywhere, but... Um, some of them do have really long coats and a lot of hair, and it's hard to see everything. So what you're going to do, guys, is in this case right here, you can see it says the ears or the pinna around the eyes. That's a really hot spot. Under the collar, because it's nice and warm, and they can slide under that collar. Armpits, tail, base of tail, and the toes. Guys, don't forget the toes. You need to fan through all the toes, the top and the bottom of the foot. The toes are a prime place for ticks. So that's what the tick looks like. That's what carries it. Ixoid scapularis, Ixoid pacificus, the black-legged tick. Then the ticks can bite down, and over about 24 to 48 hours, they can um, regurge the Lyme disease or Borrelia burgdorferi into your doggy, causing symptoms. Now remember, guys, symptoms are, for the most part, pretty similar, but they're going to be a little bit different. And with doggies, the big thing for us is we call it polyarthritis. All the limbs are painful or sore. They're walking on eggshells, right, because they're so uh, painful and uh, uh, joint pain. And the other thing is like humans get this, this like target lesion, this redness around it. Dogs don't get that too often. So we're not looking for the target lesion. We're also looking for fever of unknown origin. We're looking for lethargy. A dog is just, a dog is just really often uncomfortable. All right, guys, now you know what the tick that carries Lyme disease looks like. Also, where it's located in the United States, what the symptoms are, and how to look your dog you afraid of ticks. Hope it was crazy helpful. I do highly encourage tick preventative medicine just because tick-borne diseases are incredibly common, and they're incredibly hard on the doggy. So consider doing a topical and oral flea med, tick med, and that will keep your doggy hopefully happy and healthy. As always, guys, thanks for watching. Bye.